good morning once again welcome to the class and today we are going to take you all on a journey of how the gurus and teachers of Bharatanatyam over the last century developed this art form. Today we will discuss 1900 to 1940 the great gurus and their genealogy. Gurus are the main rivers that water an art form. Traditionally Indian classical dances have developed over centuries and passed down from generation to generation. The great first generation of gurus of a form like Bharatanatyam originated from the Tanjore Quartet and thus the Tanjore Quartet or the four brothers become fountainhead as these four brothers structured the Margam format of presentation which is still in use today. The art of the temples got slowly changed to courts and then pandal and weddings and finally the proscenium stage we see today. Thus all through the period of Bharatanatyam it has evolved and there are many gurus responsible for it. The lineage in the Tanjavad Darbar begins with Gangai Muttu, dancer and teacher. This Tamil family, Oduwars in origin, were brought from Tirunelveli to Tanjavad to recite Tevarams or devotional music and organize temple dances. Guru Gangai Muttu's son, Subraya Pillai, too was in the Darbar as a dance teacher. The Tanjavad Quartet or also called Tanjore Quartet were exponents of dance and music in the 19th century South India. All of them took basic training from their father Subraya Pillai and Muthuswami Dikshitar and were in the Tanjore Darbar for some time. Originally from the princely state of Tanjore, Chinnaya 1802 to 1856 took Bharatanatyam to Vadeyar's court in Mysore, Karnataka. He composed some Kirtanams and Varnams in honor of his patron and played a role in systematizing dance presentations in the Darbar. Ponaya Pille 1804-1864 and then Sivanandam 1808-1863 stayed on in Tanjore under Maratha patronage. Vadi Velu 1810-1845 modified the violin for use in Carnatic music which accompanies the dance and was among the early violin players of South India. Trained by a European Catholic priest in Tanjore, he propagated the violin in many parts of South India, particularly in the Darbar of Maharaja Swati Tirunal of Travancore, Kerala. The Tanjore Quartet codified the basic Bharatanatyam Adavos dance units, designed the Margam, the configuration of contemporary Bharatanatyam performance structure from Allaripu to Tillana, appropriate for the concert stage. The brothers composed an impressive number of Allaripus, Jatiswarams, Kautuams, Sabdams, Parnams, Padams, Javalis, Kirtanais and Tillanas and brought artistic changes and innovations of matchless exquisiteness to the tradition. Their masterpieces of compositions are unparalleled and honored in the world of classical music and dance. Sivanandan had two sons, Mahadevan and Sabhapati, to carry on the family tradition. They trained several Devdasis in and around Tanjore. Nelyapa Natuvanar, 1859 to 1905, grandson of Punaya, moved to Madras around 1880 and established himself as one of the most prominent dance masters of the city. It must be emphasized that the Tanjore Bani is unique within the Isai Valiyar community as it did not have any hereditary dancers, only musicians. Until recently, it has not had any hereditary dancers, Devdasis, in their family tree. It also did not allow, until 19th century, its women to have professional artistic status in public domain. 
it is the male members of this group who are associated with music and teaching dance. Which means while they could be gifted and perform on family occasions, they were not public performers. In the 20th century, this Bani got two streams represented by two popular heads, Minakshi Sundaram Pillai and Pechaya Pillai. One stayed in Pandanalur and briefly in Madras, one in Tanjore. One Minakshi Sundaram Pillai became hereditary and one Pichaya Pele did not. Guru Minakshi Sundam Pele, 1869 to 1954, loomed large over the Bharatanatyam scene and along with Guru Muthukumaran Pele trained most of the stars of the form. Minakshi Sundram married his teacher Mahadevan's daughter and thus got further linked to the legendary Tanjore Quartet lineage. Mahadevan was the son of Sivanandan of the Tenjo Quartet. Minakshi Sundram's father was Satyamurti Natunar and his mother the daughter of Poneya Pillai of Tanjore Quartet. Thus both by birth and by marriage Minakshi Sundram Pillai was closely associated with the Quartet. He had the good fortune of attracting prized pupils who had already acquired some fame like Ram Gopal and Rukmini Devi Arundel. This made other talents flocked to him, Shanta Rao, Mirnali Sarabhai, U.S. Krishna Rao and Chandra Bhaga Devi. His sojourn at the celebrated Kalakshetra lasted a bare six months, but in that short time he attracted all these stars of the style. He enamored pupils then followed him to his village, Pandanallur, where he trained them. His tradition was continued by his sons Kitappa Pillai, Subraya Pillai, S. Swaminathan and Chokalangam Pillai. Between them, they accounted for the grooming of a third of all the Bharatanatyam dancers of their period. After Minakshi Sundram Pillai, Chokalangam Pillai, 1893 to 1968, became the guru of the Pandanallur style, followed by his son Subraya Pillai, 1914 to 2008 who had trained thousands of dancers including such big names as Alar Melwalli, Minakshi Chitranjan and others. Subraya Pillai began training with his father first and continued with Minakshi Sundram Pillai. He started accompanying the students of Minakshi Sundram Pillai at a young age as a vocalist and assisted in Natuvangam, Chokalingam Pillai and Subraya Pillai laid stress on Angasuddham and Aramandi. Pichaya Pillai, son in law of Minakshi Sundaram Pillai, represented another branch of this lineage and his disciples, T.M. Arunachalam and Vasudevan. Sikkil Ramaswamy and K.J. Govindrajan added body to that heritage. While Arunachalam and Vasudevan remained southbound, Govindrajan went to Delhi and sang for Sikkil Ramaswamy, Indrani Rahman, and M.K. Saroja before teaching Kiran Segal and Jamuna Krishnan. The Pichaya school became a full-fledged college named after this illustrious Guru in Tanjore. The second major figure was Guru Muthukumaran Pillai, 1874-1960 of Katumanar Koil, Chidambaram. He was instrumental in training Ram Gopal, Mirnalni Sarabhai and M.K. Saroja. He also taught Ramya Pillai, although this fact is still disputed in some dance circles. Muthuswami Pillai, Radha and Anandi, Nalla Najan, K. Lalita, Kamla Lakshman and others. He moved to Madras, stayed in the family home of M.K. Saroja and taught the twin sisters Selvamani and Saroja. The importance of this Guru can be seen in the fact that another leading Guru, K. N. Dandadapani Pillai, 1921-1974, sang for M.K. Saroja. Guru Muthukumaran's art so impressed Rukmini Devi Arundel that she asked him to teach at Kalakshetra first when it opened in 1936. He was in fact Kalakshetra's first full-time teacher. After he left, Guru Minakshni Sundaram Pillai was asked to take his place which he did for a mere six months. Guru Muthukumaran returned to his village Katumanar Koil where he initially trained Ramya Pillai and then gifted him a ready-made student, Kamala Lakshman. Mirnalni Sarabhai took Muthukumaran Pillai to Ahmedabad 
where she started an institution Darpana in 1949. After a few years there, the Guru wished to retire. While he taught several people, his sole and exclusive exponent is M. K. Saroja Koker, who unlike others, learnt only from him till his end. Muthukumar Pillai had a special liking for Guru Ramya Pillai and taught him choicest items to pass on to his students. He was generous also to Kunchida Padam Pillai and Muthuswami Pillai and equipped them well in their art. Till his end, Kunchida Padam Pillai adorned Guru Muthukumar's photo on stage at every function of his or the pupils. Guru Ramya Pillai 1910 to 1904 is hailed from Valduvur near Mayoram. He learned from Guru Muthukumar Pillai initially and also from his uncles Manika Natuvanar. He burst on the Madras scene when dance was gaining currency, especially in films. He won acclaim for titillating flourishes that enhanced film dance items and his pupil like Kamla Lakshman with a snake dance, Pambu Natyam and Vajayanti Mala, though she additionally learned from Guru Ki and Dandridhapani Pillai, advertised his status as a glamorous teacher. As films were popular and his style was liked by the masses, he attracted a sizable number of students. Amongst the students who have won acclaim are S. Kanaka, Chitra Visveswaran and Usha Venkateswaran. Guru Ramya Pillai retired full-time teaching and conducting in early 1960s and from 1965 onwards his son Samaraj took on the reins when he was hardly 25 years old. S.K. Rajaratnam Pillai 1931 to 94 worked with Guru Ramya Pillai for 14 years from the age 17. In 1960 he married Guru Ramya's niece. He started his own dance school Kamala Kalan Nilayam in 1970. It was renamed as Raj Ratnale Parte Kala Kudam by his Guru Valduvur Ramya Pillai. Ramya's another son, Vinayakan, became a freelance music director and studied with Samraj to perform Natuangam. Ramraj Ratnam's two sons did not study dance or music, but his daughter Jay Kamala. Pandian combined academic studies with dance and runs her own school in Bangalore. His granddaughter Nitya Pillai is an active performer. Rajaratnam Pillai's sister's grandson Swami Malay Suresh underwent rigorous training for a decade in music, dance and Natuvangam from him. K.J. Sarasa 1937 to 2012 carried along the flag of the Valuvud tradition of Bharatanatyam most impressively for more than five decades. Her ancestors were court musicians who enjoyed the patronage of the Tanjore rulers. Her grandfather Rajagopalan was the Asthana Vidwan of Tirulan Temple. Her father Jagisan Pillai and her uncle Natesan Pillai were Nagaswara artists in Tanjore. Valdu Ramaya Pillai was related to the family and K. N. Dandavadapani Pillai was her paternal cousin. Sarasakka or Sarasamma as she was popularly known groomed hundreds of students many of whom established a name for themselves in the field of Bharatanatyam and as good performers teachers. S. K. Rajaratnam Pillai, K. J. Sarasa, his own sir Valluvul Samraj continued Ramya Pillai's work. While these three leading lights proved to be instrumental in spreading Bharatanatyam far and wide, there were few other gurus who groomed illustrious dancers. Mailapur Gauri Ammar, 1900-1970 was a Devadasi attached to the Kapaleshwar temple in Mailapur, Madras. And she taught dancers such as T. V. Venkatraman, Nana Kasar and Parvati Kumar in addition to several others who learnt Abhinaya from her. Kanchipuram Elappa Pillai 1913-1974 is remembered on account of his disciple Yamni Krishnamurti and briefly Chandralekha. His son Kitappa Pillai distinguished himself too. His principal disciple, Odipi Lakshmi Narayana, 1926 to 2015, himself became an eminent guru. Tanjore Kandappa Pillai, 1899 to 1941, had the fortune of teaching a star disciple, the legendary Bala Saraswati, 1918 to 1984. 
Kalappa Pillai was a sixth generation Natuvanar of the Tanjavur Chennaiya line who represented the best of the Tanjavur Quartet. His second wife was the granddaughter of Ponaya Pillai of the Tanjavur Quartet and childhood playmate of Dhanamal's daughter Lakshmi Ratnam. Kandappa's ancestors had been in the service of Tanjavur court during the 17th century, moved to Tirunelveli during the 18th century and returned to Tanjavur around 1800. Kandappa's father, Neliappa Natuvanar, trained dancers of an earlier generation. He taught music to Jayamal and Lakshmi Ratnam, but not to his son Kandappa, who learnt Natuvangam from his paternal grandfather, Kannuswami Natuvanar of Baroda and from his uncle K. Ponaya. Kandappa's rhythmic compositions for dance reflect an adherence to principles of structure that set him apart amongst his relatives who also represented the Tanjavur Natuvanar family tradition. U.S. Krishna Rao and wife Chandrabhaga Devi trained several in Bangalore including stars like Sonal Mansingh whose grandfather was then the governor of Karnataka, Pakwasa. Muthuswami Pillai, 1921-1992, son of V. Seturam, distinguished himself by teaching many dancers in Madras and in Paris. He hailed from a family of musicians, dancers and Natuvanars. His grandmother, Valambal, was a dancer. His mother, Seturamu Ammal, was an accomplished musician. After her death, he and his sister were put under the custody of Uncle Natuvanar, Vaitishi Varana Koel, Minakshi Sundaram Pillai, so young Muttu Swami became an apprentice at a tender age. After his marriage to Valambal, he accepted the invitation to teach at Nrityodaya Chennai. From 30s, 40s to 60s, he had a fairly successful career in films that brought him prosperity and fame. Most of his French disciples took Indian names like Malvika, Shakuntala, Maitri, Alamelu, Padmavati, Kunti, Kalpana, etc. Even after they returned to France and opened their own dance schools. His most famous disciple from France is Dominique. This outline records the principal gurus whose art has left either an indelible mark on a prominent student, there are gurus and there are teachers. The sad situation in recent times has been that while gurus are in short supplies, dancers have become gurus. Earlier, a guru rarely performed. They were mainly from Isai Velar community. Also, gurus were predominantly men. Nowadays, most women dancers have become gurus and they run their own schools. At best, they can be called teachers, not gurus. Several individual schools taught Bharatanatyam, but the one that became really famous was Kalakshetra. The history of this premier institution and that of its founder is interesting. Daughter of a renowned Sanskrit professor A. Neelakanta Sastri, Rupani Devi was born in Madurai in 1904. Her being a Brahmin and yet taken to Bharatanatyam, an art form associated with Devdasis, caused a stir in the society of the time. Such was the disrepute into which the dance of the Devdasis Dasi Atam had fallen that high society shunned it. Rukmini Devi had learnt ballet from Anne Pavlova's soloist Cleo Nordi, but she was advised by Pavlova herself to learn her own country's rich classical style. Thus, she decided to learn Bharatanatyam and virtually set the Adyar River on fire. Hararangetram on 30th December 1935, on the occasion of the Golden Jubilee of the Theosophical Society, led to instant appreciation. A week later, on 6th January 1936, she founded the International Academy of the Arts. She was the president of the academy and while James Cousins was the vice president. Both Rukmini Devi and George Arundale were already important members of the Theosophical Society. Originally, Kalakshetra was situated within the campus of the society, but in 1948 the society evicted them overnight. Not one to take things lying down, Rukmini Devi bought handkerchief sized plots adjacent to the society and created a new campus for Kalakshetra. While Kalakshetra is a true dance school teaching Bharatanatyam, it is often mistaken to symbolize a Bani or a Gharana, which it is not. 
several gurus, most notably Guru Motukumaran Pillai, Guru Minakshi Sundam Pillai, Guru Chokalingam Pillai, taught there and brought with them their own distinctive style and flavors. So the Kalakshetra style is not an individual style at all. What the dance school did contribute, however, was by way of style, was an excessive use of Kathakali, exaggerated movements and eyes in Bharatanatyam. Thus, most of its products have imbibed a great deal of Kathakali Abhinaya and Hastas. Kalakshetra's single best contribution is its revival of dance drama or group work, though it is generally confined itself to mythological themes. Many distinguished dancers have at some point or the other performed in Kalakshetra productions. Rukmi Devi had a very brief dancing career, not more than 10 active years, but her activism on behalf of dance made her very important. Kalakshetra helped many students flower. Sharda Hoffman, Mohan Khokar, V. Ramani, Ramani Krishnamurti, Adyar Lakshman, the Dhananjayans, C. V. Chandrasekhar, Narsimachari, Krishna Veni, T. R. Devanathan, Jay Lakshmi Eshwar, Leela Samson, Anand Shankar Jaint, and Navtej Singh Johar, among others, are products of the famous school. Its list of alumni is a veritable who's who of Bharatanatyam world of the past few decades. The school had enabled excellent training in learning of the art form of Bharatanatyam. Post-independence, many schools won acclaim, like the Sri Rajarajeshwari Bharat Natya Kala Mandir in Mumbai that has been propagating the tenets of the Tanjore style. It was founded in 1945 by A.T. Govind Rajan Pillai, 1914-1984, to assisted with by his wife Karu Ambar. The success of this venture led to migration of Govind Rajan Pillai's father-in-law, T.P. Kupaya Pillai and family from Tanjore to Bombay. Starting with just four students, the institution grew in course of time into a banyan tree with sons T.K. Mahalingam Pillai, 1916-2002, and K. Kalyana Sundaram, born 1932, contributing their individual brilliance. The Raja Rajeshwari Gurus have an illustrious lineage of ancestors dating back to more than three centuries. Venkata Krishna Natuvanar enjoyed the patronage of the Maratha ruler Sarfoji II of Tanjore. The second generation of Veera Swami Natuvanar and sister Chinappa Ammal were followed by renowned Panchapeksha Natuvanar from 1845 to 1902 and he was the Guru Vidwan of Tanjore and Ram Nathampuram courts. Panchapeksha Natuvanar was also honoured by the royal houses of Baroda and Mysore. He is credited with compiling Abhinaya Navanitam, a monumental treatise on Abhinaya and practical guide especially to Hasta Abhinaya based on Nandikeshwara's Abhinaya Darpanam. His only son Kupaya Pillai, 1887 to 1981, the prime architect of Sri Raja Rajeshwari Bharatanatya Kala Mandir is credited with the reviving ancient Kautuams, especially the Navasandhi Kautuam in the early 1940s. His Kamala Chakramma Lotus Wheel Compendium depicting the Matra based complex 108 Talas besides the popular 35 Talas is invaluable to all students of music and dance. His son-in-law, A.T. Govindrajan Pillai, sons T.K. Mahalingam Pillai, T.K. Mutappa Pillai, K. Kalyana Sundram, daughter Karumbal, and daughter-in-law Maithili Kalyana Sundram have helped the institution to blossom into what it is today. The institution has trained the current generation of gurus, G. Vasant Kumar, M. Vishwanathan, K. Hari Krishna, who have already proved their ability to carry on the family tradition. Tanjore Bala Saraswati, 1918 to 1984, was a seventh generation descendant of the musician and dancer Papa Marl from the 18th century Tanjore court. Hailing from the Devdasi community, Bala is celebrated for helping continue the pristine art of the Devdasis. More than a technique, it was a Rabinaya that was celebrated. The quality of the music that she used was exceptional. This was not surprising because she was the granddaughter of the legendary Veena player Dhanamal. 
Bala Saraswati's whole family was accomplished in music and dance. Jayamal, Bala Saraswati's mother, who sang for Bala's performances, was the daughter of the legendary Veena Dhanamal. A trained singer, Bala sang for her daughter Lakshmi Knight's dance performances in later years. Under her demanding guru N. Kandappa, a sixth generation Natunar of the Tanjore Chinnaya line who represented the best of the Tanjore quartet, she flowered into a good and a great dancer. His early death left her without a perfectionist taskmaster, but by then the West had discovered her and soon she was lauded at home too. Till her death, Bala remained an important link to the Devdasi tradition. Vocalists T. Brinda and T. Mukta were daughters of Kamakshi Amal and granddaughters of Veena Dhanamal. They were cousins of Bala, whose younger brothers T. Vishwanathan, flautist, and T. Ranganathan, Mridangist, were also prominent performers and music teachers in India and the United States. As an accompanist to his sister Bala in her recitals, Vishwanathan made valuable contribution to dance music. While several learned from her, it is her daughter Lakshmi Knight who continued her legacy. Lakshmi died in December 2001. Anirudh Knight, the heir to the artistic legacy of T. Balasraswati and Veena Dhanamal, is the ninth generation and only male performer in his family. Mm -hmm.